are we causing ADHD as a function of the way that we're living our lives? Or is it something within the brain genetically that I could, I could see? So it's both. I think clearly you can see ADHD in people's families. In fact, if I have a hyperactive, restless, impulsive, disorganized, procrastinating child, I'm looking at the mom and the dad. I'm like, so where is this coming from? But you could also get ADHD from a head injury, especially if it affects their frontal lobes, which is why you shouldn't let children hit soccer balls with their forehead. You can also get it from the chronic, from the excessive input, making people distracted, just like you said. There's a brand new study out on children who took medicine, right? We always demonize ADHD medicine, but the kids who took medicine actually had bigger brains in their prefrontal cortex than kids who didn't take medicine, who had AD. Ritalin? Ritalin. Th- that's okay. It's speed, basically. Yeah, amphetamines. It is. But for the kids who have it, I think withholding medicine from a child who really has ADHD is like withholding glasses from someone who has trouble seeing and it's it's the easy thing to demonize the drugs until you realize someone who has ADHD, a third of them don't finish high school. 